Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, Southern District of New York Courthouse, today, Thursday, December 29th, 2022. We'll begin, as before, with Sam Bankman Freed. Now, yesterday, you know, we, we tweeted, because it wasn't really worth a story, that Judge Kaplan, to whom the case is reassigned, had reaffirmed the January 3rd date uh, as the arraignment. But somehow this got converted into a wire service story, um, SBF to enter plea, which was then converted by some in the crypto press to may enter a plea. It's got like innumerable uh, contacts from people saying, does this mean he's pleading guilty? I do want to say this. I, I don't have a crystal ball, but it's pretty early in the case. And a, an actual plea agreement takes some time, although Ellison did do it fast. I, I don't think that's what it means. All I think it seems like there was so much of a desire to have, make a story out of this transfer and a docket entry that there would be an arraignment on, on the third that, again, maybe maybe they knew exactly what they're doing and it's just people's fault that they, they misunderstood may enter a plea to mean guilty plea, but in all probability, it's just a not guilty and then a discovery schedule, et cetera. We'll be, we'll, we'll be covering it. Some have asked whether it'll be in person. It'll definitely be in courtroom 21B, uh, whether Bankman Freed will have to come as it seemed he would not before Judge Abrams is not yet known. Also yesterday, yesterday in the Mad Court, a man named Luca Tripitelli, he was a Corcoran real estate agent, but he was also an extortionist of a, des, described in the complaint as a prominent health care provider with offices in New York and Chicago. He's pled out to 12 months. It's a pretty light sentence for extortion, but what are you going to do? We also covered the guilty plea of Matthew Ziberis, an American who works with Ch a Chinese guy called Liu, who once bought the UN, more on that in a moment, to uh, uh, go after dissidents, Chinese dissidents. He's only getting 20 months. I don't know. It's, it seems like a pretty big crime to represent China in the U.S. and try to uh, trash dissidents. In any event, I'm going to turn to the United Nations because the U.N. was bought by Frank Liu. He bought a special pass to U.N. peacekeeping. And under Antonio Guterres, the entire organization has been sold to China. He concealed his links to the China Energy Fund Committee. Intercity Press reported on it and was physically thrown out and banned. But we will return. To be continued.